MPLS TEFRR or fast reroute. This is our second topic to perform MPLS TE protection. Let's get started with the definition of MPLS TEFRR. FRR provides quick local protection for MPLS TE tunnels, which require high level of reliability. If a local failure, link failure, link between two nodes or a node failure, the entire node on the TE main path occurs, FRR uses a bypass tunnel to quickly switch services traffic on it to minimize impact on services so that we can restore services traffic on a backup TE path based on the location of the failure. The point that discovered that there is a failure link or node failure will perform traffic restoration, will forward traffic to another TE backup path so that we can get the destination node. In this example, we have R1 as the source node and R4 as the destination node. And we have MPLS traffic engineering tunnel main path from R1 to R4 via R2 and R3. This is the main path. Now we can configure FRR on R2. FRR is configured on the main path to protect link or node R2 can be configured to protect the link between R2 and R3 or to protect the entire node R3. If R3 had an entire failure, the main path of the traffic engineering tunnel will not be available and R2 can be configured to protect this main path. And going to another backup path, R2 can be configured to go to R5, R6 and R4 to arrive at the destination node. This is the backup path. So in MPLS TE FRR, there is a node on the path that can be configured to protect the main path so that services traffic impact can be minimized. Traffic disruption can be minimized. The backup traffic engineering tunnel is known as bypass tunnel. This is the difference between backup CRLSP like hot standby and best effort, which is configured at the source node. We configure at the source node MPLS traffic engineering tunnel with main path and a backup secondary path. So the backup secondary path can be from R1 to R5 to R6 to R4. This is the backup hot standby as discussed in the last lecture. So the source node can take the decision to protect the main path. But for MPLS TEFRR, we have a node on the path like R2 that can be configured to protect the main path if there is a failure on the link. For the CRLSP, we have end-to-end -end protection end-to-end -end protection. The source node, if it discovered that the main CRLSP is down, there is an available backup CRLSP from the source node. FRR is on the path. There is a node to protect a link or node failure so that traffic can be rapidly restored to another bypass tunnel to get the destination. Bypass tunnel provides protection to links or nodes on the primary TE tunnel and is configured on a node called point of local repair. This node that will repair the failure. It can discover that there is a link or node failure on the path to destination and it can take the action to repair that failure to use the bypass tunnel to get the destination. Bypass tunnel is established over links or nodes that are not on the primary protected TE tunnel. Here we have 
R2 as PLR node point of local repair that is configured to protect the primary TE tunnel and it has a bypass tunnel which is in green via R2, R5, R6 and R4. The bypass tunnel as we mentioned it must be configured on links and nodes that are not on the primary pass. Here we have the primary pass from R1 to R2 to R3 to R4. So the bypass tunnel must be configured over another links and another nodes not on the main pass. In other words, physical links of bypass tunnel cannot overlap protected physical links of main tunnel. We have to note the following. If FRR is performed, it means that the PLR node or the point of local repair node performed FRR. There was a detected link or node failure on the main path and the PLR node performed FRR and used bypass tunnel. Service traffic are being forwarded over bypass tunnel. The bypass tunnel must remain in upstate. It must remain in upstate. If the bypass tunnel goes into downstate and back again to upstate services traffic is disrupted and FRR fails. If the bypass tunnel flaps between down and upstate services traffic disrupted and FRR fails. Services traffic can only use main tunnel after it recovers from failure. So FRR link or bypass tunnel cannot be recovered from failure. If it had a failure, it cannot protect services traffic again. But the main tunnel, if recovers from failure, it can back in service. It can be used to process services traffic. Bypass tunnel can be configured manually or automatically manual FRR and Uto FRR. We have two types of configuration. For large scale networks, a huge number of links need to be protected. So Uto FRR can be a good option to automatically set up bypass tunnel.